Okay, people. Can we please stop perpetuating the false narrative that mental illness is a chemical imbalance? For God's sake, please. This has been going on for long enough. There's no evidence. There's no reason for this to continue. I know I'm not going to make a lot of friends probably with this, but because people get so upset if you even question that line of thinking, but that's what we need to do. That's how you progress. So the fact is that it is not possible for us yet to measure the level of serotonin and norepinephrine in the brain. Yet we claim that we are deficient in these chemicals and that we need to add more of them to feel better. What kind of sense does that make? We don't even know how much we need, but we need to add more to feel better. So if we don't know how much is normal, then it's kind of just like throwing blind serotonin darts and hoping something happens. There is just no evidence that this is the case, that there's been that there's been no concrete link found between mental disorders and an imbalance of chemicals in the brain. I mean, because of this, we don't know the levels of the neurotransmitters, and because so many psychiatric medications don't work, it's become normalized for those with mental illness to jump from drug to drug until they've tried dozens of medications. Some people in the mental illness community even see this as like a rite of passage or a badge of honor, which there's just so many things wrong with that line of thinking. <sighs> I don't know, something to think about. This is really, merely an introduction of sorts. Next time I think I'm going to dive into the use of ketamine and the coming psychedelic revolution in psychiatric medicine. Should be fun. <laughs>